Hello, and welcome to the next pre-vlog. <clears throat> Today, I'm learning Japanese. Kind of. Um, there's been a lot of writing uh, so far, and attempting at reading, which is more of a uh, go and find the translation, because it's got all of the... Uh, I'm, I'm doing hiragana at the moment. Hiragana characters, um, and went through writing them, and I'm currently on a bit <clears throat> where it is ones that look similar um, and differentiating the two and then writing them um, and stuff but I've decided to as I go through every time I, I see one and I have to go back and do it I'll write above it what the sound is um, so that way hopefully I can get into the habit of no of seeing it and associating the sound with it for example, there's one that's like an L, uh, which is she, if I'm not mistaken. I'll just double check that. Don't want to be spreading misinformation. Yes. And there's another one, which is also kind of like an L, but more of a hook at the bottom, like that, with two lines going through the straight bit down, which is Mo, if I... Yes. Uh, and that's the one that I most recently filled in. But I figured I should do this here vlogging thing. Uh, so I'm doing it. Yes. I also need to trim the stash, apparently. Um, but learning Japanese is what my Wednesday's gonna be, because I don't do physical activity, really, on Wednesdays, because I don't want to damage myself before going to Kung Fu. And, uh, well, in order to not damage myself before going to Kung Fu, I often found myself doing nothing. Uh, because... Well, mentally, I'm tired very frequently, but I uh, found myself just playing video games, watching things on, like, Amazon Prime or YouTube or whatever, just laying around, being lazy, not getting anything done. And I've wanted to learn Japanese for a while, and I was thinking earlier, like, what do I need to do and get done over summer? Ideally, I've got my interior decorating around here to do, um, but also... Um, I have Kung Fu stuff, um, other things, maybe my dissertation if I can do it, and learn, well, start learning Japanese. Um, I want, would like to get some very basic understanding by the end of summer, um, which, you know, there's like at least another ten weeks, I think, um, in which at least at one week, one day a week, I'll be working on this, um, probably. Maybe not next week, because I have the dentists, of, and I need a lot of recovery time from that. But I've, I'm currently on page 25 out of like 80 or 90 in this book, uh, and then I'll go through and listen to the disc that came with it and see what I can do there. Um, but if I focus just on the hiragana first, there are about another 32 pages of hiragana stuff, and then I can go through the hiragana bit on the disc. And I then, once I've got that down, have... Is it this one? Well, I have this book as well. And this workbook. Um, so I can go through these as well when I finish the other one. But if I go through all the hiragana in that book, that blue book, um, <clears throat> then I can go through the disc, um, do writing exercises and stuff like that. I've got what was my old history book from school, which is now my Japanese book, um, where I'm going to put in all the relevant stuff and starting at the back and going forwards is will be the handwriting practice for uh like hiragana and katakana and eventually kanji and yeah <clears throat> hopefully it'll work out all right and i also think i have a book on audible which is about learning japanese but i'm gonna wait until i have the written stuff down a bit better before i start trying the vocal stuff because when i can read it i should be able to speak it in theory um because there's a difference because there is reading it in English 
So if I see it, translating it out to be, this means that, which you can do more so with the kanji uh, more easily, and reading it in Japanese, so so I saw the word um, Mugiwara, then I could read it as Mugiwara and then translate Mugiwara out into English to mean straw hat. Thank you, One Piece, for teaching me that. I'm not entirely sure how accurate it is, but still. Um, yeah, so if I can... I would like to be able to do that. Read it in Japanese and then translate out that Japanese into English, which, even if it takes me a little while, like, if, I, if I've got to do it in steps, be like, read it, have the sentence in my brain, and think, okay, word one is this, word two is this, word three this and so on and so forth until i finish the sentence then i can process it and have that down that w that that's what i'm aiming for um i don't think i'll get there by the end of summer but it's a good place to start and depending on what my schedule is like i can continue working on it wednesdays um, i'm not gonna spend all day every wednesday probably i do have other things to do and also i find learning languages really difficult um so I'm probably going to get very frustrated and just stop some days uh, and try and get back to it potentially, but if I don't, I don't. Anyway, it's getting a bit long, so I'll catch you cats on the flip-flop. Goodbye.